Um, had you? I mean, have you listened to much Brazilian music before? Anything like that? No, I don't think so. No. No, I would say I would say a hard no. Absolutely not. A hard no. BBC Sounds. When I said I'd never listened to Brazilian music before, yeah. I wasn't entirely telling the truth. What I meant is I don't think I've listened to Brazilian music by anyone that you would have heard of. Yeah. Because I, I travelled with like a band playing Brazilian music. What? <laughs> Wait, what? How is that only coming up now? But how long have we been chatting for? Because there weren't. About a Brazilian <laughs> music album. Because and you've said you'd never heard it, and you travelled. Because they weren't Brazilian. Brazilian music, they weren't Brazilian. Then. They weren't Brazilian. They just love Brazilian music. That's still relevant, it's Sophie. I'm sorry. I was just like, <laughs> I can't still, bring it. It's still one of the most <laughs> relevant <laughs> things you could have brought up <laughs> about this album is that you once travelled with a band playing Brazilian music. I travelled with a band playing Brazilian. Were you in the band? Briefly. What the hell? <laughs> What was this band called? Okay, so it was it had Whoa, different. I've got, I've got so many questions about this. Right, go okay, on. Okay, so they had different names at different times. Yeah. It was like part of a label, like this very small label called Moot Moot Records uh-huh. in France. Um, and then the band at one point was called Brazil Brothers. Yeah. So Brazil, <laughs> Brazil Brothers. Brazil Brothers. Great. Playing Brazilian music, uh, and it was essentially like a group of people, two two musicians from Lyon, and like the rest were from Paris. Yeah. And we went from like the south of France into Bulgaria, playing busking, playing Brazilian music. Why? Why this isn't relevant? What are you talking <laughs> about? It's not relevant. I'm sorry. Even if you were just in a band who didn't who played like folk music from Switzerland, it would be relevant when you're on a music podcast to bring that up. Let alone we're currently talking about a Brazilian music album and you travelled around Europe playing Brazilian music in a band called Brazil Brothers. Yeah, that is that is. The case. I can't see how you don't think that's relevant in any way. Maybe anyway, I'm the mad one here. I, pl- I played like percussion. I wasn't really meant to be in the band. Right, how, so how did okay, you get I was, in? I was, I was dating someone who was playing guitar in the band. Okay. So I like came came along for the ride. I think they're called groupies. I was yeah. like a groupie. But, so you were a groupie <laughs> in a Brazilian in a Brazili- band in a Brazilian who worked from Brazil. Who worked from Brazil. And travelled around the, the Europe. Who travelled around Europe. Buskin. Buskin. Called Brazil Brothers. Called Brazil Brothers. <laughs> um, where did you meet these people? I met them in Paris. You met them in Paris and were you there living there? Living in Paris, yeah. and then they were like, "We're going to go to Bulgaria playing Brazilian music. Yeah. Do you want to come?" And I was like, "Only for a bit." I mean, you were already dating this guy. I was already dating this guy. Okay. So I, I was locked in. I had to go for a bit. Okay. How many people? Um, five. Five, five of you. Five or six. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big band. Yes. Absolutely. And and like already we play like the cajon. I don't know what's oh, called. Oh, that, that, that square drum. The square drum. Yeah. The, which is like a wooden drum that they sit on. And the wooden drum like that you sit on and you play. Bass and a snare at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it was very competitive because all the recording guys were like, look at these young kids playing Brazilian music, like knocking us off our turf and we want to play like old French pop, French and Italian pop songs. Sure. Um, but we we did. Yeah. And played the music and I was like, I'm going to play percussion. So yeah. I had a little, sh- like, lots of little shakers. Yes. And I played Perfect. the shaker and then one night, and I think it was in this uh, village, which is like full of lemons. I was like, I what? think I can add some vocals yeah. to this Brazilian music. Uh-oh. Oh gosh. So Uh-oh. I just did, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I did like an, like an improvised rap. Oh, great. Over the top of the Brazilian music. Yes. Yeah. To the, like, the yeah. bemused, mm. in English, to the bemused French and right. Italian tourists that were watching. Yes. That's what I, that's, that's what I did. Do you remember any, any of the rap? Remember no, any it, was of the impro- line? it was improvised, so I didn't write it down. I was like, this mm. is a beautiful moment in time. Yeah. Yeah. I think some of that would stick in my head if I said it. <laughs> Personally, I think you might be lying again, I, but that's I, fine. I, don't, I honestly don't remember it. Mm, okay. Yeah. Did the band know the rap was coming? I don't think they. I don't think they did. So I you just, just thought, started doing. I was like, we were playing for like a long time, like an yeah. hour. <laughs> yeah. I was like, someone's got to do something. Yeah. <laughs> it's which is rap someone's in English. Someone's got to do something. <laughs> yeah. Well, it might as well be me doing an improvised rap. An improvised rap in English. Yep. Over the top of this Brazilian music. Over the top of this Brazilian music. Do you think that maybe your time in Brazil, brothers, <laughs> has affected you listening to this album and that maybe you listen to Brazilian music now is a little bit bit of a sore spot for you because you know for much of this interview let's not forget you present you pretended you'd never listened to Brazilian music ever maybe like this has really affected you in some way that I for think me sending you this I don't know I feel like the band broke up yeah we broke up I left that part of my life behind me yeah <laughs> and I'm no longer a part of Brazil Brothers. So now it's difficult to listen to Brazilian music. It's difficult music, to listen to Brazilian music. And that's why sending you this 
And that's why that's why I shut down. I wanted to love it, but I couldn't love it because yes. I didn't think I could love again. 